digital scientists, how's it going? Today, we will be learning about the scientific method. Scientists figure things out in different ways, even by accident. There is a method to discover things, and it is called the scientific method. The scientific method is the way scientists use ideas and information to solve problems and answer questions. It's the method we use in our science class. Let's start things up by observing because that is what scientists do. Let's take a look at the materials needed for this experiment. For this science experiment, we are going to need two eggs, two tall drinking glasses, three spoons salt, a spoon, and water. The first step in the scientific method is to ask a question. My question is, will the egg float in fresh water or salt water? The second step in the scientific method is to make a hypothesis. Can you say the word hypothesis? You may wonder what a hypothesis is. A hypothesis is a prediction or a hunch. For example, my prediction is that salt water will make the egg float. What is your hypothesis? What do you think will happen if you put the egg in fresh water? What do you think will happen if you put the egg in salt water? Let's find it out. The next step in the scientific method is to test your hypothesis. And we do this by experimentation. By conducting or doing an experiment, you will find out if your hypothesis was right or run. Are you ready to do an experiment? Let's do it. Let's test some water first. I'm going to take my glass and pour water into the glass until it is about half full. Now I am going to place an egg in the glass of water and see if it, it sinks or floats. It sinks. Don't worry if your hypothesis was wrong. It's the beauty of it. In the scientific method, it's okay to make mistakes. Now we know for sure it's not the fresh water what makes the egg float. Now, let's test some water with salt. I'm going to make my own solution by dissolving some salt in hot water. You add the salt. You add the salt like this and stir. All right. Now I'm going to put the egg My original hypothesis agrees with the result of our experiment. We should be recording this. Woohoo! Now, let's look at our data and draw a conclusion. The egg floats in salt water. And this happens because the egg is denser than the fresh water. This causes the egg to sink. When you start dissolving salt in the water, this is increasing the density. Eventually, 
the water becomes denser than the air, causing the egg to float. Now you know one of the main ways scientists discover things by using the scientific method. Remember, the seven steps of the scientific method are Number one, observe. Number two, ask a question. Number three, make a hypothesis or a prediction. Number four, do an experiment. Number five, collect the data. Number six, draw a conclusion. And number seven, share what you learned. Okay, little scientists, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's class. Goodbye!